today i will discuss about cross retinoscopy and i am going to cover this following topics there are three techniques to identify refractive error with strict retinoscope one neutralize with spherical cylinder trial lenses two neutralize with two spherical trial lenses three neutralize with two cylinder trial lenses neutralizing with two spherical trial lenses is called cross retinoscopy because of using optical cross to identify final prescription steps of cross retinoscopy this technique has only four simple steps step 1 neutralize one meridian with one spherical trial lens and write the power in the optical cross step 2 neutralize other meridian with another spherical lens and write the power in optical cross step 3 subtract working distance power from both meridian step 4 write final prescription from optical cross step 1 neutralize one meridian with a spherical trial lens neutralize one meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement in this meridian the movement is with so we will neutralize this meridian with a trial lens that is having against movement so plus lens is having against movement so we will use plus lens to neutralize this meridian now we have added plus 0.50 and movement is still with so we will use more power now we have added plus 1 still it's with 1.5 still it's with 2 still it's with movement with the 2.5 it's also with movement with plus 3 it's also with with plus 3.5 it's with so with the plus 4 this meridian is neutralized so now we will write this power in the optical cross 90 degree axis we got power plus 4 so the power will be 90 degree apart from the axis so we will write the power here in the horizontal meridian step 2 neutralize other meridian with another spherical trial lens now neutralize the other meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement we have neutralized for 90 degree axis now we will neutralize other meridian with another trial spherical lens now here in the horizontal or 180 degree axis the movement is also with so we will use against movement trial lens and in the plus lens we have against movement so we will use plus spherical trial lens to neutralize this meridian now with plus 0.5 the movement is still with so we will increase more plus power with plus 1 still it's with movement with plus 1.5 still it's with with plus 2 also it's with so we will increase more power with plus 2.5 it's still with now finally with plus 3 diopter we have neutralized the horizontal or 180 degree axis let's write this power into the optical cross 180 degree axis we got plus 3 so the power will be 90 degree apart so we will write the power here now step 3 subtract working distance power from both meridian let's consider we have done retinoscopy from 67 cm which is equivalent to plus 1.5 diopter so we will subtract plus 1.5 diopter from both meridian in this meridian the final power will be plus 3 Minus 1.5, which is working distance power, equal to plus 1.5 diopter. And here in the horizontal meridian, the final power will be plus 4 diopter minus 1.5 diopter, or plus 2.5 diopter. Now step four: write final prescription from the optical cross for spherical power. Take any meridian as spherical meridian. For cylinder power, 
the difference between cylinder meridian and spherical meridian will be cylinder power and axis will be 90 degree apart to cylinder meridian. Let's consider the horizontal meridian as a spherical meridian. So our spherical power will be plus 2.5 diopter spherical. Our cylinder meridian is vertical meridian. So our cylinder power will be plus 1.5 minus 2.5 which is spherical meridian power. So the final cylinder power will be minus 1 diopter cylinder. So we have cylinder minus 1 diopter power in vertical meridian. So the axis will be 90 degree to cylinder meridian that is 180. Final power will be plus 2.5 diopter spherical with minus 1 cylinder at 180 degree axis. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.